Previously on Cinephalic. This film is entitled Pleasureville. Women aren't things that are supposed to feel pleasure. They are supposed to give pleasure to men. So we're all in agreement. All right. Protect the children. Protect the children. March is Women's History Month. Celebrate the woman in your life. Okay, jewelers. Because she's for sale. My name's Bruce, and I'm with the Philadelphia Film Bulletin. What's your excuse? My parents sent me a gift card for this theater, even though I've told them how much I despise their business practices. But alas, what can I do? I'm only a woman. Ah, yes, I can relate. Throughout the years, through many Christmases, birthdays, and community college graduations, my parents have given me many an all golf gift card. I could survive on their food for my entire life if I wanted to survive on faux middle class Italian culture. But this movie is probably less of a defense to my sensibilities, even though it is directed by Catherine Bigelow. What's wrong with Catherine? Nothing. I just feel like ever since she was the first woman to ever win an Academy Award for Best Director, I feel like male directors have been pushed out as a result. I'm sure your review will be accurate and free from bias. It was here when they demanded justice, wrote for a debut called Film, Feminity. Feminazi is a satire in the form of exploitation. It's a takedown of what men think of us feminists. German bodies, German choices. Equal pay for equal work. Or death. I have the right to choose, Fraulein. I think it's really good. <laughs> Marvel has major plans, and Phase 37 will be female-driven. All that and more, 530. Felicia, where the fuck is my latte? It was also here that she would write the films that would introduce her to the general public. After the Gamergate fallout, I took a page from Ewa Bowles' book and bought up a bunch of mid to high level video game franchises and adapted them in a way that I thought addressed feminist issues. Amanda directed two major video game adaptations, including Frackley. And Assassin's Creed Suffrage. It's true! Since the great feminist takeover of 2016, led by Beyonce Knowles Carter, otherwise known as Queen, be a tyrant, in her seize of power, she ordered the original 1984 Ghostbusters to be wiped from existence. <laughs> her hardest, her quest was originally undone by some manly internet detectives. No and now, we present to you the original masculine Ghostbuster. Don't forget to wipe after.
Anyone got any axe? God, I smell like shit. So you've only seen two female directors and you say there's too many and you're a film critic. Just because I haven't seen too many doesn't mean there isn't a gong bong in Hollywood. What's taking so long? Did you just refer to women as gangbang? Yes, gong bong of woman is the plural of woman. Just like a murder of crows, a gaggle of geese, carpool of Muslims, gong bong of women. Most recently, she worked on a PSA about the social taboo. I was catcalled 43 times in 15 minutes. That's pretty typical, and sometimes it's a lot more. Hello, this is Amanda Justice. Wait, are you filming this? Is the audio so long? Uh, okay, hold on. Oh my god. So what did you think? It was terrible. It was. I'm shocked to hear you say that. But it's not because she's a woman. That wasn't the reason I hated it either. It's because she's my mortal enemy. What? I am. You rock into a headshot. I am Amanda Justice. Oh, I often do interviews this way. Free the memories. 